What is up guys and welcome to another brand new Carbot Sales Pickups video. So to start off, I just want to give massive apologies about the last video, the sound issues we had, well the microphone issues. Oh my god, like, so I went to record the episode as normal and in the mic settings for some reason it switched to my webcam mic instead of my actual mic as you can see here. And this happens very, very occasionally, it's happened before uh, and I was really gutted so really apologize about that guys and i would have re-recorded it but i had 50 minutes like just non-stop talking it really flowed really well like i didn't like how they stutter or anything and i always stutter it went so smoothly and it would have literally been impossible for me to record it as smoothly as that again so that's why i kept it and uploaded it guys so i hope you enjoyed the content you know regardless of that issue so very sorry guys and fingers crossed it won't ever happen again so anyway on to the pickups I actually forgot to show you guys like two things last week, which I apologise for again. It's because like, um, I'll go to the car boots and stuff and sometimes I sell things like literally straight away, you know on like the swaps and sales Facebook pages, things like that. So I'll show you on screen right now, I've got some Minecraft paper craft stuff, um, so basically it is just um, paper crafted like Minecraft blocks and obviously they can be used to play with or as decoration and I think the can look really cool as models to be honest and um, I would actually have kept them if I had the space but um, I don't know I mean they are a bit more for, for kids you know I'd rather kind of have them um, you know proper like models and stuff instead of like paper bits you know <laughs> on display so I thought it'd be a bit more of a kid thing but um, yeah I basically got them all from a car boot for two pound um, so I couldn't really turn it down and uh, I thought I'll sell them for a fiver just for a bit of profit so sold them for a fiver that's three pound profit there and I forgot to show you this sweet pickup I made um, from the same Saturday car boot it is Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic Mountain Quest um, and I believe it is 1982 it did say it um, I think it says it like on the bottom or something like that of um, yeah the actual game so just get it out to show you guys it looks like really nice and stuff really great condition um, and it came with like there was a yellow ball and I found three little ball bearings inside it so I think it's probably played with those the little ones and um, it does require like a big battery like just in there as well um, but yeah, really nice. The only thing that's missing is the little yellow plastic bit on the top which holds the Sonic cardboard bit. So that's the only thing that's missing or else I would keep it but I am actually looking at forwarding this on for a little bit of profit I think because um, I really need the money at the minute guys. <laughs> it's crazy because I make all these videos of me buying things but I seriously like really need the money. But um, yeah, obviously I would like to have kept it but um i actually would have done if it was complete but i am looking at kind of selling it on so i'll read what it says on the back this is your chance to help the famously fast hedgehog defeat the evil dr robotnik can you beat the ma maze by taking the perilous path all the way to the very top of the mountain before your time runs out and that will be the little timer there it's got like a little dial on it there are so many obstacles to overcome cross the breaking bridge right there Take a trip in Robotnik's balloon, hop onto the magnetic arm, that crane looking thing right there, and tackle the perilous plateau. It's a great game of skill and daring, but what else would you expect from the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog? Looks like a really fun and exciting game, and obviously, like I said, I would keep it if it was complete, but it drives my OCD crazy that it's not complete. I'm sure I'll, I will come across another one on my travels, I'm sure, even though... I'm sure they're probably pretty rare nowadays. I saw a listing on eBay which had the exact same problem as this. It was just missing the um, the yellow plastic bit. And it was like something like 11 99 with like 3 quid P&P, something like that. And it did not sell. So I did think it would be worth more, to be honest. That There's one other listing on eBay. Um, and it's like 49 99 and that one's complete. But that has not sold. So I kind of don't know what they're selling for at the minute. But... Obviously, I don't think it's as valuable as I thought it was, as obviously that listing has not sold. But nonetheless, amazing pickup. So, guys, one of my mates, an amazing YouTuber, Kevin Wolford123. It is 123, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, one of my amazing. 
So guys, one of my mates I met through YouTube, Kevin Wolford123, he also does car boot pickup videos. He does uh, live NES game playthroughs, things like that. I actually bought some Atari things from him. Um, he totally hooked me up with some awesome stuff with the GameCube as well. So I'm going to show you what I've got. So I got two Atari consoles from him. This one, I believe, is an Atari Junior. And it was an exclusive to Ireland. And I think they're pretty rare and hard to come across nowadays, I think. So, and I think that just looks so smart. I really do. Um, obviously, it looks retro, but it kind of looks... a a bit more modern and smart to be honest it's got such a nice look to it it looks really cool man so i love that i'll definitely be keeping that for myself so with the other atari that i gave me that's actually going um as a gift to my best friend's dad as he's been after one and this is another atari 2600 and this is amazing it's still got the um the seal across the uh silver bit going across which is awesome which you would never see nowadays so what a find that is as well so he sold me these with like 40 games so i'll show you guys the games right now right so first you guys i'll reel off some games which i haven't yet tried i've not been through all the games and tried them out yet but i've been through um, a few that i picked out and uh, yeah i really enjoyed it man it's it's crazy because my mum and her brothers used to have this console she couldn't believe it when she saw me playing it <laughs> It's actually really fun and it's just crazy how like years ago like people just used to spend like hours and days on these games whereas like I'll play them for literally five minutes and then I'll have to like switch another one on because I, I could not play, spend hours on them but obviously back then you had no choice. So I'll reel off um, all these games guys. I have Defender and Millipede. Pele Soccer. I'm a football fan, so that is awesome. I never knew he had his own game. Uh, we have football, which will be American football, I reckon. Uh, there's one called Adventure. That looks really cool. I haven't checked that one out yet. That looks good. Uh, River Raid 2. I've actually played the River Raid games. Um, I played them on Activision Anthology on the PS2, which is a load of Atari games on a PS2 compilation game. Um, I, I absolutely love that game. I've had it for years. So I have had a bit of a taste of Atari games before I had a session on these Ataris. So Solaris to carry ours on. Desert Falcon. Running out of like, space in front of me where to put them. Joust. I do like some of these artworks, really smart, really good. Cubert. Oh, I had a little go on that one actually, that doesn't look too bad once you get used to it. Skateboard, and I actually had a go with that. I have no idea what the purpose is, I'm just going like from screen to screen, it just does not kind of lead me anywhere, I'm going like up, down, left, right, everywhere, and there's kind of like no main goal or purpose, so I might have to YouTube that, because I'm curious if there's any purpose to that game, but it's uh, it's fun anyway. Commando, that was good, that was really cool, um, basically an 80s Call of Duty, <laughs> that's what they had back then instead of Call of Duty, um, but yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, Kangaroo, I like that artwork as well. Dodgem. These artworks, man, I've actually not paid attention to them until I've just seen them up close. Obviously, you have plain ones like this, River Raid. That was the first one. We have Ghostbusters, Stargate, Space Attack, Pole Position, and Dig Dug. I had a quick go with that. That looks like a fun little game. Uh, these ones I had a little go of. Battle Zone, that one too bad. It's like where you're in a tank and you have to just look all around you and just shoot enemy tanks. <laughs> that one, that one too bad. I'm sure I tried this one. Galaxian, is it? Yeah, Galaxian. I'm sure I tried that one out. Uh, crossbow. I didn't really get what I was doing on that game, but um, yeah, I won't mind uh, having a look and see what the hell to to do on it. <laughs> Right, and these ones, guys, are like my personal faves so far. Um, obviously, we have the classic Space Raiders. Space Raiders, they're the crisps. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Um, Space Invaders, oh my god, what an absolute slip-up that was. 
<laughs> Thinking of food all the time. Typical gal. Um, so Mario Brothers. That's really fun, obviously. We have the classic Donkey Kong. Would have been nice to see different artwork on that, maybe, but still a great game anyway. And we have Miss Pac-Man. Is it Miss? Miss? <laughs> and we have Junior Pac-Man. Kung Fu Master. Phoenix. Breakout. And Demon Attack. And then next up... I remember Kev showing this on the video. Kung Fu Super Kicks, literally. <laughs> it's funny that he's got like a bashed up cat as well. I don't mind it at all. He said, do, do I want him to replace it? I was like, no, nah, man, it fits in with the uh, the whole Kung Fu vibes. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Moon Sweeper. And boxing. We've got like a, a bit of every spot, haven't we, with these guys? Great little collection. Chopper Command. Armour Ambush and Midnight Magic. Oh, that was cool. And um, see, it's funny because like you never know what to think about these. Like you can only kind of guess what they're about just from the title and things like that. It's, it's hard when you have not got like any artwork to go by. Like, yeah, it's, it's funny. I hope the boxes went like that. I hope the boxes like at least had some artwork to give people a clue what they were about at least. Um, and as well as these, there's loads of manuals, which is amazing. Like manuals for Donkey Kong, Moon Sweeper, just Kangaroo, Miss Pac-Man, Moon Patrol, Joust, Pole Position, Skateboard. There's absolutely loads. So that is amazing to have all these manuals. Manuals are really hard to come across these days. Like most people would have just threw them away like as part of the packaging. Um, so I've got like a whole little bundle here of them. So um, great to have as well. So we have Asteroids. That was really good. I had a go at that. Really impressed by that one. So yeah, guys, they're like all the games that um, I got from uh, Kev for the Atari. So some great titles in here. So thanks so much, man, for hooking us up with that. So we've got some great titles in here, guys. What were your favourite Atari games? Let me know. So obviously both the Ataris I got from Kev all had the wires with them. They're all complete. And he hooked me up with four joystick controllers. Uh, the original Atari one and three third party joysticks. I've got a boxed one here. It's really comfy actually to hold and everything as well. So third party ones just as nice. So these two are the same as well. And in addition to the Atari stuff, he also threw in a GameCube. Thanks so much for that, man. I've been wanting a GameCube for ages. And I think this black one's really smart, even with a memory card as well. So really nice of him. So I now have a GameCube with the wires. It just needs a pad with it, that's all. So, so I need to get on the hunt for a GameCube controller and obviously classic titles for the system. He also um, threw in Donkey Konga game. And I've had a go with that, it is awesome. It had some like awesome songs on it, man. Had all sorts. I think it had like the Donkey Kong theme, Super Mario Brothers theme. It had things like, um, oh, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen, stuff like that. And uh, 99 Red Balloons. I love that song as well. It has, it's got some sick songs on it, man. So how did I play Donkey Konga without the bongos? Well, that's where another one of my awesome friends has hooked me up. So massive shout out to my friend Liam, 8-Bit Booter he is on YouTube. He also obviously does car boot videos, so definitely check him out because he deserves more subs right now. Definitely. So he wanted me to open this um, live on video so we could see my reaction of what he's put in the box because he's actually put some other stuff in with the bongos. And I'll admit, Liam, I'm sorry. I opened it just for the bongos, okay? I just wanted to grab the bongos and try the game out because I was excited, okay? I didn't tell you that and I'm sorry. <laughs> I betrayed you, man, and I apologise, but sorry, not sorry. But, um, yeah, anyway, he very kindly gave me the bongos because he had them spare. And he said I could have them, bless him. So, thanks so much for those. So, there's a letter in here for me, open me, with um, a smiley face. Such a creepy face. Oops. No, it's fine. I, I, think, I think that's alright. It doesn't look creepy at all, man. It's fine. <laughs> Everyone's so sweet when people send me things like they send me love letters and everything. They're like, oh, hey, here's the things you want. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got some really sweet friends, you know. Right. 
So here's the Donkey Kong bongos. I've added a few other bits in here that I've duplicates of or no longer need, so I thought I'd pass them on to you. I know they'll be in safe hands, lol. They definitely will, man. <laughs> so keep up the good work on your channel. I love your videos. Take care. Happy car booting. Liam, 8-bit booter. P.S. The Incredibles game is fake, but take a look at the Nintendo logo on the back. You'll die with laughter. I'll be sure to. Okay, so we know that there's an Incredibles game in here. All right. So let me just have a look. I'm just going to pick out whatever. All right. Oh my god, what are these? Pokemon. I see the Pokemon logo. Oh my god. You have a look. Pokemon. The complete Pokemon pocket guide. Numbers 246 to 491. That's number two. And there's number one here as well. That is sick. Number one to 245. So that is amazing, man. Thank you so much. Oh, that is awesome. So... Yeah, I've got both complete Pokemon Pocket Guides. So these have like all the Pokemon like bios in them. Oh my God, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Liam. Thank you so much for these, man. It'll be interesting to take a look at the later Pokemon as well because obviously I know quite a lot of them, but I don't know them as well as all the, the classic ones from when I was a kid, when I watched the TV show. But, oh my god, I have to have a read through these. Thank you so much, man. I absolutely love Pokemon stuff. And, uh, yeah, he knows that as well. So, thank you, man. Right, let's see what else. What is this? I have actually cut uh, bits of sellotape just so, to make it easier for me to unwrap these. Bits of sellotape do still remain, though. No way, man! A Game Boy Advance. Oh my god. I, ca I can't believe it. What the hell? That's so nice of you, man. Oh my god. Um, I actually remember him, actually. Like, he said in his, um, I think it's his latest car boot pickup video, he was like, uh, yeah, I actually picked it up and it's sending off to a friend. I actually remember him saying that and I never in a million years thought that would be me. Seriously. Oh my god. That is so nice of you, man. Thank you so much. I, I actually don't have a Game Boy Advance. I've got a Game Boy Advance SP Tribal. That's sick. Um, oh, it's so nice to have a Game Boy Advance. Thank you so much. That's amazing. And classic purple colour as well. I'm not showing you guys any of this. I apologise. I'm just, like, staring at it here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not showing you at all. That's absolutely mint condition as well. So thanks so much. For that. I never expected that at all. Right, let's have a look what else there is. Oh my god, I see games. I see games! In a case as well. Game Boy Advance games. I can see through here. Okay, so Incredibles and Simpsons Road Rage. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Let me have a look at the carts. If I get this open, there we go. So, he said to look at the Incredibles game. Let me have a look. Let me look in the light. What the hell? I've never seen that before. It says Nintendo. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, you might be able to just make it out. Maybe if you pause the video. Let me try and keep my hand steady. It actually says Nintendo. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. With a capital I as well next to the capital N. That's hilarious. Thanks so much, man. And it's, uh, it's uh, an American copy as well, as you can see the E logo. So, did you say it worked or the Incredibles game is fake? Well, it might still work anyway, so I'm still happy with that if I can still play it. But if not, that's a cool piece of fake memorabilia. So thank you, man. Thank you for that. And, ah, uh, oh, Simpsons Road Rage as well. I recently picked that up for the PS2 and I still haven't had a go on it yet. So I have no idea what the game is like. So that would be really cool to play it handheld as well. So thank you for them, man. So much. I never even expected you to in a game by advance thank you so much really appreciate it and oh my god what's this a game gear game nice this is a game called columns nice man i have not got any game gear stuff yet but i have actually seen them on like other car boot videos and stuff like that i don't know much about the game gear but i've seen them and they look cool and stuff so i wouldn't mind doing a bit of research into them pick one up obviously because I would like a bit of everything, like, with my collecting. Like, I've been literally collecting for, like, you know, most consoles. 
So the Game Gear is something that I will have to check out in more detail. So thank you for that game, man. Definitely put that to one side for when I uh, finally get a Game Gear. And I can see one last thing. Oh my god, it looks like a tube. It looks like a tube. Let me have a look. Ah, thanks, man. Thank you. That will go with all my Mario figures. It's one of those um, creepy uh, plants on Mario. <laughs> thanks for that, man. Very much. That will go with um, my Mario figures collection. Because I've been collecting loads of these on the car boots, but this is one that I have not got yet. Thank you for that. So, mate, thank you so much for this stuff. Um, oh, my God, some amazing stuff there from Liam. So, honestly, check his channel out. I'm not just saying that. He deserves more subscribers than what he's got right now. Thank you so much, man, for kindly giving me those. And, honestly, I'm going to make sure that I hook you up with a nice care package. I always feel really awful because I know that Liam loves the ZX Spectrum and I literally never see anything like that off the car boots. But I'm always, obviously, keeping my eyes peeled and I'm going to throw a care package together for Liam of things I think that he'll enjoy. So I'll definitely be sending one to him in some time in the future. So thank you once again. Oh my god, like, I literally want to like apologise how bad my hair is. It's annoying me so much seeing myself on screen right now because it's not like perfectly straight because I'm absolutely sweating, it's boiling in here. But anyway, <laughs> enough of the excuses about my appearance. So recently after work one day, I took a, a trip down a street with like a load of charity shops, things like that, really long street and it's not usually like amazing or anything for games but I did make a couple of pickups and this game uh, was given to me by a friend, he just found it like <laughs> lying around somewhere, Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Colour and it is an American car obviously as you can see by the E logo. God, I was waiting for it to focus in, I hate when it does not focus on things, do not focus on my face. <laughs> So I've had a little go of that. Great to have Donkey Kong Country handheld. And I also picked up another Game Boy game. Uh, this was six quid, Oddworld Adventures. I'm a massive fan of Oddworld on the PlayStation 1. And I recently picked up uh, Munchies Odyssey as well on the original Xbox. And obviously this one now, but I've not played them. I've not tried them out yet. So hopefully there'll be um, nice other, you know, Oddworld games um, as I'm only used to the PlayStation 1 Oddworld. And I picked up lego marvel avengers for the xbox one this was a tenner from cash converters which wasn't too bad at all it's funny because the there was two copies there was one for 12 quid there was this one for a tenner and i picked up the 12 quid one at first and i was going to get it because i thought you know it's not too not too bad of a price but i looked at my mate and i was like oh and then originally um this had a different case um and the case was like all like ripped and stuff and I thought, you know, I'd rather pay less and then just replace the case. But I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to be cheeky and ask if they can find me a different case, you know, a better one. Because uh, I know I'm in there. I've been going in there for years. Um, so they actually swapped a case for a mint one for me. So, um, yeah, I got, like, the tenor one, which was, like, you know, meant to be in, like, a ripped case and stuff in a normal case. So really happy to get it for a tenor instead of 12 quid. Love saving money. I'll tell you what I actually did today as well. I'm going to tell you quick, a quick money-making thing. So, I'm in the Game Gear group on uh, Facebook. It's a group of around 20,000 members. And it's bit, basically, like, a big, like, swaps and sales, like, for games, like. And it's just full of people, like, all around the UK. And I saw a couple of posts about Asda's having a clearance on games. Like, and I mean clearance, like, prices really cheap and stuff. And... People had picked up all sorts, Xbox One, PS4, Wii, everything like that. And they were making big trade-ins to CEX for lots of profits. And um, I thought to myself, should I walk to the Astors here? Like, it's not that far to walk anyway, but I thought I'd probably be wasting my time because, after all, this is Grimsby and it's, it's not an amazing place at all. And um, usually, like, I'm honestly used to, like, lowering my expectations, even at car boots and stuff, because, like, my pickups and everything are nothing compared to people in that Game Gear group, even though some of them lie anyway about their pickups, but um, even, you know, some YouTubers who I watch, my fellow uh, YouTube car booters, my pickups on the car boots are nothing compared to theirs, and, um, you know, Grimsby, it's a place where you don't get your hopes up or anything, so I went to Asda's and I thought, nah, I, I bet we don't have a clearance or anything, and the only thing I could find was uh, Skylanders Imaginator starter packs, and, um, I did originally ask for, um, I, I had 30 quid on me and they were £5 each and I looked online I thought can I make any profit at all? CX gave £16 in store credit or £11 cash and 
I took the cash because I really needed the cash, okay? So I had 30 pounds on me and I originally planned on getting six because that's obviously the maximum I could get with the money I had. So I asked for them, but the only things they had in, they had three left and they had two on the Wii U and one on the Xbox 360. So I said, you know, what, I'll take those three. And uh, so I spent 15 pounds on those, took them to CEX and got 33 pounds cash. Because uh, I, I really need the money to help me out. So I made like £18 profit, like just, you know what I mean, like from nothing there. So it, that was a nice little, you know, just little profit making thing I did right there. So stay alert, guys, in the future for when that happens. Uh, be aware that Asda do have those clearances. Um, I, I forgot about it. I've known them to have it before. Uh, I, don't know if it's, I don't know if it's once a year or something. I really don't know. But... Um, yeah, I'll have to see if I can get on it the next time it happens and see if I can actually get some better pickups. But obviously I found the Skylanders things to make profits on, so all good there. So guys, onto my car boot findings. I'll um, show you a non-gaming related thing. I love, absolutely love the Osbournes. I think they're brilliant. I'm a huge fan of Ozzy Osbourne and I've still got the DVDs um, of the um, series that was on MTV years ago, you know, like the reality TV show series, I mean, a lot of people say it was staged and stuff, but I still find it entertaining myself, and I love them as a family, so I actually found a Sharon Osbourne talking doll with um, her main dog, Minnie, and it's really sad, because all these dogs would have passed away now, and it is so sad, man, because I mean, I mean, this was like, back in 2002, this was made, so in the set, there is Sharon and Minnie there, there is Kelly and Martini. There is Ozzy and Maggie. And Jack and Lola. Look how young Jack looks, especially. I follow Jack now. Like, he's, uh, he's really cool, man. He's one of my faves. So, I think she shouts Ozzy if you press her. Oh, I didn't hear that one. I remember that one as well from when they had bad neighbours and she was shouting things. One of my best episodes of the Osbournes. Oh, that's really cool, man. I mean, you guys might not get it if you didn't watch the series, but to me, that is awesome. So they originally wanted £3 for this, and I just said, will you take £2.50? I thought I'd just bath them down a little bit. Um, and these are like really valuable, um, I'm sure. I've had a little look on eBay and um, I've seen some expensive prices, but the thing is, are they selling for them prices though? I'm sure I'd be able to get probably around 20 quid something for it at least, I think. Yeah, very valuable and uh, I'd obviously I'd love the other ones in the set. That'd be awesome. So I was happy to get that because I'm a massive fan of Ozzy Osbourne and his family. Right guys, the next one I'm going to have to show you a picture of, I'll show you right now. It is a blue PSP and I also got it with um, some really nice PSP speakers and I managed to get a few games with it as well. And it also had um, a game inside it, so I've just got a little, um, I've got like the game, um, you know, like disc inside the little case. Um, and obviously it came with the charger and I got all of this for £10. I was really happy with that and, um, Oh my god, I had to jump in front of the reseller to get this. I had to jump in there um, So lucky to get it and I was debating whether to keep it or not But I really like wanted the money to like put towards you know other gaming stuff So I did unfortunately like trade it in um, and I got £38 in store credit So massive profit made there and that was just on the PSP console itself I did look on the CX website and they don't give anything for the speakers, it's like 10p it was. So I'm going to keep hold of the speakers and I think I'm going to like just keep them for myself for when I get a PSP that I'm going to keep in the future. And they are game expert ones and they look really smart, really nice condition as well. So it was really nice of it to come with them. Um, but yeah, the guy originally, he um, had like a massive bundle and he said like, so it had all that in the picture you've just seen with a load more games and he was like I'm looking for 25 quid for the lot but I will sell separate. So I grabbed the PSP first and then I was looking through the games. I was looking really quickly and he actually um, snatched, uh, it was Capcom Classics Collection, something like that. It was like a, a Capcom compilation game. So I was gutted to have missed out on that because I did look after and CEX sell that for like a tenner. And the games the guy was selling was a quid each. and. He grabbed that as I was looking, and if you look in um, one of Kev's videos I saw, um, Kev like asked someone how much for all your DS games, and uh, this guy, the Sneaky Snatcher, 
he came in and grabbed a Zelda game and then Kev actually answered him back. He was like, I'm looking at these, mate. And then Kev kind of had no choice but to buy them all, you know, so we could get the Zelda game as well. And they had some great titles in there anyway, so he ended up paying like 20 quid for a bundle of DS games. And like the, the sneaky snatch up did have to put the game back because Kev agreed to buy them all. So, um, yeah, I, I felt that I had a bit of that sneaky snatcher situation, you know, where they just get in there and grab it. They don't give a shit at all. And it's really annoying. They really take the piss. So, unfortunately, I missed out on that because that guy grabbed it. And um, it's really hard because I had him, like, breathing down my neck, you know, like the, the reseller. And I, I was going through these PSP games as quick as I could to try and find, like, any decent titles which I could have picked up. And obviously, you would have seen in the picture I just showed you which titles I got anyway. Um, inside the PSP, when I opened it up, I didn't even open it up till after. Um, Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast. So, um, it's a nice little freebie, isn't it? Like, to be inside the console. You always find that, don't you? You buy the PSP and the person selling it usually doesn't realise that there's a game inside. So, you literally, usually always get a bonus game. So, yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, I spotted these Silent Hill ones first, so I grabbed these straight away because I actually heard the collector like as soon as um, the reseller, as soon as I picked them up he was like, oh I was after those Silent Hill and I was like, I thought to myself like, can you stop with the commentary, like, stop, no, it's so annoying, I, I think, I find him the most annoying out of all of them, that reseller, because it pisses me off, like, you know what I mean, It's he's getting things not for his collection, he don't get a buzz out of them, he's literally, Buying them just to resell, you know what I mean? I know I do it myself, I know I trade in CX, but still, I trade them in for money towards my collection, whereas him and his dad, they have a really stingy stall and they just like overprice things and stuff, and it's really annoying to see the bargains he gets and he just overprices it on his store. So that's why I get pissed off with the reseller. Anyway, so I found Silent Hill Origins and Silent Hill Experience. Um, so this is over two hours of digital comics based on the popular Silent Hill comic series, exclusive video interview with the director of the Silent Hill movie, music tracks, things like that. So that was a nice little pickup as well. And um, yeah, the Silent Hill Origins games looks really good as well. And um, I picked up Midway Arcade Treasures extended play so i don't know if the extended play has a few more games on i'm not too sure i picked up a midway arcade treasures game uh, for the original xbox the other week as well still haven't tried that out so i still don't know what these are like but thought i'd grab that as well um and yeah i kind of didn't really want to pay too much i didn't have that much money on me at all guys and i am a actually on a budget like i had to really be careful with my money so um I kind of didn't really want to spend more than a tenner, so I didn't want to take the piss. I grabbed these few games, and obviously I had the PSP in my hand. I had the speakers as well. I had the, um, obviously the charger as well. And I just said to the guy, will you do a tenner for these? So that was an absolute bargain. And I think if I'd have took the piss and grabbed a few more games, you might have been like, hey up, you know what I mean? Like, and he'd wanted a bit more. But um, no, you can't beat that. And he was, yeah, selling all the other games for like a quid and stuff. And um yeah, there were was, there was some more like, titles in there. There was things like Power Stone, which I've never seen for the PSP. There was things like Mortal Kombat, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I almost picked up Mortal Kombat. But like I said, I didn't really want to take the piss and get too many games because I wanted to try to keep it a tenner or less, that's all. So I just didn't want to spend too much money. So the only thing I missed out on there, guys, I missed out on that Capcom Collections game, what that reseller sneakily picked up. And I'll um, just mention quickly, I missed out on one other good thing at the car booter as well. I missed out on a Pokemon game for the Wii. It was probably called Battle Something, I think it was, because I did look on the CX to see what it could have been. Because I went to a store, basically, and um, I asked them about the games. They was like, oh, we just saw the Pokemon game on the Wii, and they said it was a quid. And uh, they was like, yeah, it was the first thing to go. And I was like, oh, my God, like, the collectors just beat me just by seconds to it. So really unfortunate there but i actually made a couple of nice other little pickups Um i picked up driver on the ps1 and uh, i asked how much and the woman said a quid and i actually batted down to 50 because i just thought um would you do 50 because of the case because of the cracked case because uh, she clearly like kind of just didn't have a clue about games you know what i mean like so i was just like you know will you do that and she really won't bother she was like yeah yeah that's fine and uh yeah it's boxed and complete with the instructions really nice condition even the disc is in good condition as well and um yeah i've actually got it down there but i don't have it like all boxed and complete like this i only have the disc so really nice to have it all complete again 
obviously the case will just need replacing at some point because of the crack on the case. Um, I also found another PS1 game, Gran Turismo 2. I have the very first one, so I thought I'd grab this one for the collection. It's only a quid as well, and it's got two discs as well and two manuals. Really nice, all boxed and complete. So there is GT mode and arcade mode. Yeah, I'm not a massive um, player, to be honest, of the Gran Turismo games, but I just literally got it with a, a for the collection because I've got the very first one, so... Yeah, I got that for a quid. And this game, I just beat the reseller to as well because um, I have to go to the cars just as they're unloading and ask if they have any games for sale, and he does it as well. And I try and ask before he does because then, obviously, I usually get first choice because they'll come to me because I ask first. So, yeah, I asked this guy, and he had a Wii for sale, and I said, any games for it? And he said, I've only got Mario Kart. I was like, I'll have it. I'll have it. I thought in my head, like, you know, hopefully good condition and I'll have it. And he originally wanted a fiver for it. Um, but he said, uh, oh, I'll do that and the Wii for a tenner. But honestly, I've, I've already got a Wii myself. Um, it's, it's a very weird Wii that I've got myself. Um, I got it, like, years ago from Cash Converters. Like, it's a red Wii console with a white remote and a black nunchuck. It's a proper mix and match bash up. So... Yeah, it's a very random Wii setup that I've got, but yeah, like I said, I really did not have too much money. I was borrowing money off Dave at the time, uh, my uh, car boot mate who I go with, so I really didn't have that much to spend. So I did say to him, will you take three quid for Mario Kart? And he said, yeah. So unfortunately, there was no wheel or anything, no wheel controller, but just the game. And um, so that will go in my collection. I've been waiting to finally pick up a Mario Kart Wii on the car boom. Um, I've seen them in like loads of other people's uh, pickup videos and I was thinking god when will I finally come across one do you know what I mean and um, yeah this is actually trade fodder um, at CEX give 8 quid in store credit I believe but um, this is not actually trade fodder this purchase this is actually going in my collection and uh, I can actually try it out once I've got um, a wheel controller and uh, they're only £1.50 in CEX I believe so if I don't see one at the next car boot, I will pick one up from CEX. Right guys, anyway, the last pickup is one of the best of the video. So, I actually um, put some profits I made on eBay towards this one. I actually got Pokemon Pikachu. It is basically a Pikachu Tamagotchi. And this was absolutely mint condition as well. It even said in the listing, the person said, um, had it for years, um, like never, like used it or taken it out really and you can tell you can really tell absolutely mint condition i'll take it out and show you guys just so you can see how mint it is really nice still got all the sticker it's got like no wear and tear like at all it's all really nice so i'm looking forward to having a go on that um i've wanted one for ages because i believe they are very rare nowadays um yeah, there was only a few listings of them on eBay. I've kept an eye out for ages, and this was the mintiest condition one I've seen. Like, the only boxed one I've seen on eBay. So, I was really happy, man. And uh, with the instructions as well. And the box, like, you cannot complain at all. Only, like, a tiny bit of wear and tear. Absolutely perfect. So, really happy to get this pickup. This is one of my fave pickups of this video. Right guys, and it's that time again. It's the saddest time of the video. It is the end when I've got no more pickups left to show you guys, but I've shown you guys quite a lot of things in this video and I hope you've enjoyed seeing them all. Uh, there's been a mix of things, obviously car boot things, my out and about pickups, pickups from my awesome YouTuber friends, Kevin Wolford123 and 8-Bit Booter Liam. So thank you very much guys for hooking me up with some awesome stuff. And it's crazy, another literally 50 minute video uh, for you guys. And uh, this time it will have recorded with my actual mic. So yeah, I really apologize guys for having to sit through 50 minutes of the last one with the dropping quality of the microphone. So really apologize for that guys. So I hope you enjoyed all the pickups that I've got and I can't wait to show you guys what I pick up very soon. Hopefully I can keep the standard high. Uh, I mean, it's going like really well with my standard of pickups, like for me anyway. I'm getting some great things, so I'll try to keep my standard high, guys. And oh my god, I'm getting to the car boots for like five in the morning. I'm like so dedicated to try and get like the best pickups. And like I say, I wouldn't have made some of these pickups in this video if I wasn't like rushing like in front of the collectors and the reseller. Like it's so hard competing, but I'm trying my best for you guys. <laughs> so dedicated to my game collection and to bring you guys some awesome videos so 
thank you guys as always so much for your support and i'll see you guys again very soon in a brand new cabinet sales pickups video so take care guys and i'll see you very soon thank you